well going guys it's your boy jack aka the bald and refat coming out with you today's video which is how we import koi from yashikigo over in poland being dangerous danny I've called dangerous danny because i've still got a scar on my head to prove it <laughs> um i currently in birmingham the farm's not in birmingham but we stopped off for a mackie noodles um it's about an 18 to 21 hour drive depending on traffic um we're gonna head down to dover jump onto the ferry there um so we'll show you how we clear customs in the commercial vehicle uh we'll show you all the paperwork sort of things that we have to do so we'll say hello to yoss ernest and move as well whilst we're there um but yeah it's gonna be a fun old journey and just kind of want you guys really to see how much goes in because it's a lot of work isn't it it's a long way as well it's involved i mean it's literally Monday night now. We're not going to be back home until Thursday morning. Um, but this is the stuff that we do to be able to give you guys the coin that you want, the foods that you want, the grades that you want, everything. It's absolutely incredible. I mean, I for one absolutely love it. What about you? Really, mate. Love it. Well, it is a hell of a lot Good of fun. Journey. Oh, God, yeah. I mean, it's, it's not a bad drive either. I mean, I've done it with April and the kids in the car. And like I say, I mean, the kids were brilliant. And anybody that knows the boys knows they are an handful, but they absolutely loved it. Okay. It was class, just being able to stop off where you want along the way and stuff like that. It's a lot of fun. Um, but yeah, we'll head down the M6 now. And the uh, next little snapback is when we'll be at the White Cliffs of Dover. Let's go. Ten points of Gryffindor, if anybody can tell me what that is. Hit me up in the comment section, folks. We're at Dover. And those cliffs appear to be white. So let me know what they are. Uh, what we've got to do now is we've got to go into section L. Uh, which is, or is it D? Yeah, section L. Section L. So, section L is cars and trailers. It's actually empty today, which is really, really good. We've got the Irish ferries, which is one just over there. That one that's in. Please have your documents ready. Don't know how much of this I'm actually going to be able to record coming through customs. Um, is your passport day in the front or is it in the back? Yep. Oh, yeah. When, when the first time we came over for Ernie's birthday, which is the owner of Yashiki Goy, uh, we're actually in these queues here for literally about eight hours. It was insane. Absolutely insane. Well, yeah, we just need to queue up now and get through here. So I'll snap back to you all in a sec. Let's go! He's currently telling me I need to get a wig and a toupee because I'm a passport photo. I have hair. Toupee. However, I don't actually tell me I need to get myself a toupee. Um, yeah, so this bit here is the first element of customs that we need to get to. The frontier control. Police frontiers. I think that basically means French border control. Um, They've definitely made a good job of loading that van. Look at that. That is Ramo, mate. I'm telling you now, he's going to open that door and that's just going to go footing straight out the back. Imagine if he gets pulled, mate, and they open that up. He's going to take him three hours to close it. <laughs> so, at the moment, we're coming through customs as Joe Public, aren't we? Not as good carriers, because our van is empty flower. However, I need to give... A really nice French policeman um, our shipping docks so our order form for the Irish ferries we are what an hour 125 225 hour and 15 light yeah. it's now 2.43 a.m. in the morning so yeah man let me sort out and get his geese out some bits and I'll show you what's checking in and getting on the boat oh by the way Danny lent me his cool pillow this is Danny, and this is Julie, and these are my dear little lovebirds. Okay, so we've got, we've got to check in the passports in a minute. Um, but yeah, so this is where we come through. So you have to give your details to the French guard, and then we go straight on up through checking. Let's go. Uh, go right the way through for checking now. Um, see where that massive checking sign is yeah, just there? Yeah man, just, yeah, man, don't go through there. I come through that in the Volvo. And that's one of the places where they actually x-ray you. And it looked like they were shooting for the knives. They were like, yeah, man, come on through, mate. 
and just let me try it on. Uh, we are checking and pass holders, Daniel. Va a car or bus? It's not van, though, is it? Yeah, technically we're a small bus. Uh, but yeah, this here is actually the port of Dover. So three ferries operate out of here. Irish ferries, P&O ferries, and DFD ferries. Yeah, my guy's pointing with a radio. Cheers, brother. So yeah, he said, did his thing. He was very strange. Uh, check in ahead. So we come all the way around here now, do a massive loop and end up over here. Um, where we really have to give our passports in. Uh, the British passport control now want to make sure that we are volleyed out of the country and don't return. Uh, so we give them that, we give them the ferry check-in details. Even though we are an hour and uh, 15 minutes late for the ferry, it's absolutely a-okay. Because as long as you have booked on, it's either like two before and two after that you're allowed to get on before you have to pay an extra penalty fee. Irish, um, Irish ferries. Top of the morning, Tierney, wee Danny boy. That's my best Irish impression I can do. Ooh, Tommy Tucker, my Irish subscriber. How are you, Jack? On all of his comments, man, I love it when it comes through. <laughs> if you're watching Tommy La, we're getting on your ferry, son. How are you, Tommy La? How are you doing? So, yeah, hopefully, we'll have the look of the Irish with us on this one, my friend. And it'll be a nice, happy sailing. But yeah, let's get on in. The ferry is here. It is still docked, which is good. I'm hoping we can still get on it. Because all that's DFDS, and then you've got PO at the very end. So that one over there is PO, DFDS. Him. Irish ferries. Yeah, we're following him actually, ironically enough. So yeah, set a sat nav to blue van. That's it. Jobs are good. Tight on. Right, let's get through this bit because I don't actually know whether I'm allowed to record certain people. <laughs> Well, you know, border control. I kind of have a habit of going, Oi, put your phone away, mate. So, yeah, I've had a couple of hours sleep, haven't I? Yeah, yeah. It was away with the ferries. So, I'm going to swap over and I'm going to drive to Germany, aren't I? So, I'll go through France, Belgium, Holland, into Germany. Danny Boy's got the Autobahn for seven, seven hours. hours straight. And I've got the last home stretch of three hours from uh, Berlin to uh, Jockin. Chock him. Yeah, yeah, man, that's where the farm is. C H O C I M. And I'll show them right when we put in. Uh, which is spelled L O D Z with two dots above the dead. See, we are internationally renowned now, folks. But yeah, let me get through this little bit because, like I say, this is the chatting bit. I don't want to annoy anybody with my phone. I'm hoping that these are Irish and like, hello there! But we'll find out. Let's go. This is how it pays to be really polite and really kind to people. So at Border Control, no matter where we're going, may I put in the kids or Danny and Julie, we always get our passports out and get the photo card which ready, all the documents in order so you can give it them in one foul swoop so they haven't got to flick through loads of reams of paperwork or anything like that. We've actually missed two sailing times. Um, so we're supposed to have like a, I think it's like a 90 or 100 quid extra charge. But because we were polite, God in charge us. Um, currently now spinning round into uh, the docks. Our next one is at 4.40. Um, it's currently 3 a.m. in the morning. Um, so yeah, we'll pull up. Me and Dan will have a little cuddle, as we do. You know, like that Ross. See, so he's already reaching yeah. for his rubber ducks. That's Jack and Danny, that is. <laughs> This is from the bath store, ladies and gentlemen. This is Jack and this is Danny. Nice yeah, he's on past it, he's flirting with a duck. Um, so yeah, we'll put Jack and Danny back on the dashboard. And this here is the queuing terminal. So we are in lane 104. The next boat's due to dock inside of the next half hour. I'm about to go find a toilet, because I'm busting for a pee. But yeah, here we are. Yeah. There is, it's behind the back of the van. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, here we are, and we have to go up these massive ramps up here and get on one of the boats. But, snap back in a sec, when it's here. Let's go. Okay, so, boat leaves in 40 minutes time. This is us now pulling on, single story boat. Single story? 
two story. Is it two? Oh yeah, we're the top deck. This is yeah, this is the second story. So we'll go up there in the gallery. Me and Danny will do a Titanic moment off the front, looking all sexy and gorgeous at that. So yeah, are we uh are we fun? Oh yeah, we'll take the ducks with us as well, man. We'll show, <laughs> show the ducks the ocean. Let's come in. Yeah, man. <laughs> Kane's mate, it's all the jacket we bothers. Kane, if your mate's watching, mate. <laughs> Jack and Danny are going in the ocean, and I'm not kidding. Ducks Saying that we can't, mate. We're on a fishing channel and we'll be putting plastic into the ocean. No, 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 no. Can't do that. It's wrong on so many levels. First ones after, so yeah, yeah, we will be one of the first ones off to be fair. We've got Oliver's man, Oliver's man's that's on, but yeah, let's take you up deck. Let's snap back to you in a sec. Just so everyone knows, we're not actually going to send it into the ocean. There's Jack and Danny. This one's Danny, this one's Jack. <laughs> so yeah, we've uh, borrowed the transit. It's a nice little 70 pint number. It's got all the mod cons in it. It looks really nice and pretty. But yeah, let's uh, head them upstairs and show you the top deck. Yeah, there's the sea. Yeah, there, there's Pino. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. Beautiful, man. Oh, let's get a sofa. Oh yeah, you can have a beer now because I'm driving for the next you eight hours. Have? Mint. Yeah. I'll be on the soft drinks. Yeah, man, we'll grab a sofa. I'm going to chow down and go now sleep. Once I've drank two espressos. But no, it's beautiful. It really is beautiful. Right, snap match in a sec. Okay, so just grabbing two coffees. So £7.50 for a cappuccino and a latte. Not all that bad to be fair. Uh, we're going to go up to deck 9 and 11 because we can get out on the top deck and we can show you what's setting sail. Let's grab a coffees and let's head on up. Let's go. This is Jack doing his impressions. <laughs> Can you imagine we get back in the bar after? <laughs> Second part of 9 to 4. Let me teach you how to spit, those. You gotta... Just like that, those. <laughs> Give me a look at this below. Name the fool. One more scene coming. See if you can figure it out. Let's go. In all seriousness, if it wasn't for all of you guys, we wouldn't be able to do things like this. We wouldn't be able to travel the world, camera in hand, do what we do best in it, brother. You know what I mean? It is absolutely incredible. And I just want to give a big, massive thank you to everybody that has supported, got behind the channel. I'll tell you what, let's walk up here into the light. Everyone that's supported, got behind the channel we had an absolute record day on the website uh, on Monday what day was it yesterday Monday what? Oh, Monday the 15th absolute record day on the website most amount of sales we have ever done it is absolutely incredible we've got April and Julie at home shipping everything out for us we can still make sure we're adhering as damn close to that next day delivery as possible for everybody that understands and appreciates just how wild this sale has gone thank you ever so much for bearing with us i mean it's only an extra day or so that you've had to wait and stuff like that but like i say we appreciate that there may be bigger companies out there that can hold massive massive quantities of stock i mean we fought 30 on the shelf of being enough of everything didn't we Sold out weren't even close that went within the first half hour of the sale going live. It was absolutely insane. 11 boxes of fish went out today. Absolutely mental. Um, but yeah, this is only actually the first part of the journey. Um, we're just as stupid off camera as we are on camera. The stuff that you see is what we would do anyway. It's just we've got a camera stuck in front of us. Well, big props and big thank you. Let's take you inside though, have a look at this classic lounge, and then we'll show you clearing French customs. Let's go. So you've got to have got it now. 
I have the film done. What? Titanic. Come on. However, now let me spin you around. We are just waiting for those doors there to open up and then we can take these beasts all over the bone. But then you'll get some footage I'll be driving of uh, when those doors open. And we are in France, people. We are in France. Okay, so the time currently on here states that it's 25 to 1, but that's actually English time. It's uh, 25 to 2 at the moment. We're going to leave the farm at about 11 a.m. After packing up about 70 boxes of food. Saying to Danny, it feels strange. It feels like home when we come back. Like it really, really does feel like home. Beautiful mist across the light, unfortunately, the film won't be able to pick it up because it's so dark. Mel's got his interior light on, so I don't believe he's still asleep, but we'll pull him out and just have a look. Good little look. So you can probably just have a more groggy voice. It is the morning. Just grab myself a coffee at the palace. We're going to head on up because I know my nerves been already burning up. I'm boxing up a load of the fish that's due to come back. It's going to be a sculpture today because it's currently 8.30 a.m. in the morning. And already it's probably about 24, 25 degrees. It's going to be a hot old day. You will probably note I'm wearing the same t-shirt that I had on yesterday because Danny's decided to drive off in the van and take you on up to Merv. Let me spin you around. Take you for a walk, show you what we're bringing back. Let's go. Okay, so I'll take you over to where the fish are all being bagged up in a second. Add me coffee, no onto a Red Bull. A load of fish on down in here. Um, just have a look at some in the bowls now. Uh, we are actually bringing 140 uh, of these Super Jumbo Totos back. Um, they've already had a course of treatment, which is why the um, Albrecht has been put in, uh, just to knock anything back that they uh, possibly have. So when they come into the UK, uh, the boys have already done quite a good job for us already. Oh, wrong zoom. But. Uh, this bassin still yet to come home, that one and the one over the back too, because uh, like I said, all these fish uh, are ours, all well, those fish are ours, and all those fish are ours as well. But this is how it happens on an import, you pick the fish that you want, and then we'll go through and we'll show you the paperwork, etc, etc in a second. Let's give us a good day for the weather, for driving back, it's a lot cooler today, which is great. And these are some of the bigger smaller nissite like. they're available as well we won't be none of those back but time for me to start doing some grading to hand pick out the very best for the newark show if you see anything you like hit me up in the comments straight away you know the draw by now <coughs> Watch this one here is an atalashi achiba Hello, beautiful. <laughs> There's a 
very, very nice guy. Just went in there, then. Yeah. 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 So yeah, Merv making another debut appearance on camera. <laughs> now he's on social media, we can get tagging away, John. We need to get him famous, folks. Yeah, don't need to be famous. So yeah, so they uh, fair for a fair few more fish to pick through. Um, Yeah, some real, real gems. Okay, so these are some of the monsters that we're actually uh, importing back. There's the doctor's fish in there. So if you're watching, there you go. One of the biggest in the bowl. Doing phenomenally well, which is awesome to see. The luster and sheen is doing fantastic. Real fish in here, Sean, as well, if you're watching. Look at the body on that. Absolutely incredible. There you go, Sean. There's your other one, dude. Beautiful, beautiful fish. There's a beaut of an Ojiba. Gump, your tan shows in here as well. Look at that Ojiba there. Looking good. There you go, Gump. Looking good, brother. On its way home. That is an absolute thing of arse, that is. You see how much the zoom is changing it already since last time we were here? It's definitely a fish of the future. She is a big seller with Chiba. Food on the scales is absolutely incredible. She is awesome. John Dillon's with Chiba brother with the love art on the sides. Look at that man, it glows. It's like it's been spray painted. Nuts in it. If anybody is after any of the crash goes that you've seen here, by the way, um, we have purchased these. The only fish that's going to be staying is the uh, the doctor's fish because that's Azagari. But it's looking really, really good. Really, really good. There's the next one coming out. Simply, simply lovely. There's this one of Chibas. You guys are in for an absolute treat at Newark. There's the third of Chiba. Woo! And there's the fourth. Okay, so these six boxes are sold up with full. 
these boxes here they're all coming home and again it's still yet to be uh, filled full of fish and all the boxes over the back there full of fish the van will be stacked floor to ceiling it is very hot i've still not showered i don't feel the best because i need to eat once I've eaten, I'll be back to my jolly old self, I promise. But let me start back in a sec. Once we load some more fish into the bags, let's go. So he's Merv doing his thing. All these are ours. Small for the camera, Merv. Show me your new tattoo. Bring it in, bring it in, bring it in. There you go. Here's some David, a little fist bump going on, it's really good. But yeah, some of these now are getting massive. So what we've got to do is they actually go off white. So we're going to pack a little bit lighter this time around. So the bucket goes onto the scales. Um, obviously everything's, the weight of it is neutralized at the moment. What number are we looking for on the scales, Merv? What number on the scales? So 620 to 650 grams. And how many fish is that, roughly? 400 fish, roughly. So four, eight, 12, 16, 20. Every five boxes is 2,000 fish. Uh, so we've got 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. Someone do the quick math because I'm far too tired. 42 times 400. Hit me up in the comments. What's that number? Look at the amount of fishies coming back to the UK, folks. Woo! You love to see it. Okay. That's roughly about 400 fish in there or so. Give or take. And we've got a squirt of antimonia as well in all the waters. And then everything gets uh, dropped straight on in. So many different varieties of cool right here. Absolutely incredible. And that is 400 coin in a bag. I'm going for a shower so I make myself feel better. Yeah, packing. See you in a minute. Okay, so <clears throat> turns out just needed a shower. I don't feel fine. However, currently on the hunt for breakfast. Peaches. Oh, very soft as well. Look at that. I don't know if these are orange peaches or white peaches. But we shall find out. Let's have a cold bottle of Sprite. Danny's in the shower now. That's still in the shade. Try this bad boy. Mmm. Orange peach. Straight off a tree. So juicy. This one's actually a plum tree. But it looks like all the plums have actually come off this one. Oh, sorry, no, this is a cherry tree. Not a plum tree. But yeah, all the cherries have actually come off this one. Mm. The juice out of that bad boy, man. Uh, yeah, the other plum trees are... Peach tree, peach tree. That's a plum tree, but there's none on that. There's none on the other plum tree either. There's a pear tree, but I don't, I don't fancy a pear this morning. These peaches, though. I am definitely, and I mean definitely, taking about 12 of these bad boys back with me. Yeah, there's some more now. That's a big apple tree. I'll tell you what, I'll take you over. Let me spin the camera around. Yep, yeah. nice big apples. What's this one? Yeah, peach tree again. That's a plum tree. 
another peach tree. And another peach tree. It's super ripe, ready to fall off. There's a pear tree there. Long way. There you go. It looks like that's like a brand apple, like a cooking apple tree, that one does. I love my job. Mighty Reds, you'll never walk alone, boys and girls. Got United on the weekend, that should be fun. If, uh, if United don't score against us, the only goal they can actually pick from is an own goal for goal of the season. <laughs> you love to see it. Whew, it's hot. Let me open the back of the van, show you how full it is. Let's go. <laughs> It is full. Love it. Now what we need to do, wait for Danny to finish, then we have to head over to the vet, because obviously all the fish is you can go, KHV, SVC, and CEV, free at source. So we have to get those certified now. Let's go. Okay, so obviously all the fish are now loaded. Um, what we have to do now is we have to go see the vet. Uh, we're not allowed to record inside where the vet veterinary place is for obvious reasons. Um, obviously we have to check KHV status, CB status and SVC status as well. Um, so we have to go see uh, Matching, uh, the vet, which is literally just in this building here. So we can get all the paperwork, but obviously we will show you the paperwork when we come out. Um, then from here, we're going to go to and get some proper Western food, aren't we? Because we're starving. Um, but without Coveland, from here, we then have to go to Connie, which is Polish customs as well. Let me snap back to you in a second. Once we go to the docks, and we'll show you those. Let's go. Okay, so took us about 40 minutes to an hour to clear the vet side of things. Uh, but we've got our paperwork now, so this is our copy we have to give to customs. Um, where my fingers are, there's two codes that I don't want to show online. Uh, but this is our export health certificate right here. Um, so this is for all 61 boxes of koi. Uh, so it's got absolutely everything on here uh, that we have to bring back. It's already been stamped off by all the vets, uh, which is absolutely awesome. Uh, what we have to do now is we have to go and take this to Connie for customs. Um, obviously this here is the Polish side of things, this one here at the back is the English side of things. Um, but yeah, 61 cartons in total, uh, and obviously the only other one that we've got is obviously our invoice, which as you can appreciate, I'm not about to show that on camera. Um, however, we will put this up here so we know where it is. Um, let's go co-fund and get some food. Let's go. Got one. Yeah, go on then. Got fiver. We've got strawberry. Well, that's raspberry, not strawberry. Hello, raspberry. Huh? Raspberry. Yes, we've got raspberry, raspberry. Uh, strawberry, melon, strawberry yeah. and lime, strawberry and kiwi, peach, pear and apple. Literally a little haul that we've got instead of going to uh, services because service food and best. We bought cake as well. We bought cake. Cherry corn, multiple times. Yeah, I'm going to grab one of these. Huh? Um, what else have we got? Bread, vodka, Mike Tyson's black energy drink, caramel macchiatos, bananas, bread, we think that's mayonnaise. We've got a knife to carve our own sandwiches and we're going to have to like, just finger those out, I guess. Dan's got crisps, cheese and meat. That's pretty much it. Let's go. Okay, so this here is Polish Customs. Uh, about 40 minutes from the actual border border um, but oh they've played the field that's not really I mean the boys are running through there um, what we have to do now is go in this building here where that arch uh, tinted window is and we need to give them the paperwork that we collected from Matchim out of the vet and give it these Matchim has already sent the paperwork over. We stopped off at Coveland and we got some new clobber as well, didn't we, mate? <laughs> you wanna check out me watch up, bro? Man, it's class. I'll, uh, let me get these paperwork sorted and then uh, I'll get it out and show you. And we'll have a little guessing game on the watch. And whoever guesses it, bro, can have 100. 
Uh, no, we'll give him a kilo. I should give him a kilo of Yushiki GoPro food. Yeah, man, we'll give him a kilo of Yushiki GoPro food. Uh, but we're going to head on up in here now. Um, Dan's going to follow me behind with the camera because also I don't want to stick a camera in the customs lady's face. There is one document that I need to sign. There we go. Yeah, man, check out the car back. Look at this. So this here, yeah, nice pair of grey shorts, zip pockets on them as well, and the t-shirt cost me, what, about five, six quid? Very well, isn't it? Probably not even that, to be fair. So yeah, buzzing. Let's dump the van in the middle of the car park, because that's what we do. Let's head on in there. Let's go. <coughs> you have to go up here. You have to go up here to the second floor. Sammy's. A few sammies. A few sammies, a few The laces are undone, mate. What a beautiful day it is, though, to be fair. Where? Me and the boys are running through that field. Okay, so as we board, waiting for customers, we've just had a little butty, we even had to buy ourselves a little uh, filleting knife, because Danny had to be extra, I couldn't just get a normal knife, he had to fillet the bread. Uh, anyway, the price of the sticker is on top of the box, and this is me watch. Check this bad boy out. Water resistant, yeah. It's all right, chunky little monkey, look at that. Got all the buttons on the side and that for your modes. Gonna, is that a light mode? It says light. Yeah, does it light up as well? Mate! Yes! Water resistant as well. See if you can guess. I've been after a watch for ages as well. I put I put one with some beautiful watches. But over the years with kids and that, they tend to go walk around. But it's got a nice rubber strap on. It's not cheap plastic either. That's a nice rubber. Uh, 1 to 100s chrono, weak display, and it has an alarm chime on it as well. It is water resistance up to 5 metres deep. Now, I don't know about you, it's not often I've got 5 metres underwater. Half a metre. Huh? Half a metre. Not half a metre. Clear for you. Oh, I'm going to second. This is obviously jack proof because I can't get it off. Get, get out. Show me your watch then. Yeah, man. Let me, put it on, let me put it on the wrist so I can show you in full flow. I have bought April and the kids some more presents as well. I'm not going to show you that yet. Not in there, not that. Look at that. <laughs> Yes! Do I look like a fat chubby version of Bear Grylls or do I look like a fat chubby version of Bear Grylls? Instructions even come in English as well. If anybody can guess exactly what I paid for this watch, let me put it in the calculator. Hey Siri, convert Zalotti to pound. Hello, Jack Smith. Okay, so apologies about that. The border we're calling the uh, paperwork is ready. However, I just want to convert Zalotti to GBP and get the exact amount. Wow, 
Wow, look at this, Dan. Off camera. That's how much it was. Come on, I reckon. You know what I mean? See if you can guess the prize. Winner, hit me up in the comment section below. The correct guesser. We've got a kilo of your sheep food pro food. Closest. Yeah, closest. Okay, so we've just cleared through uh, French Customs with all of our paperwork, which was all in order this time. Um, however, what is different this time is we've got to go through one of these scanners. We've been sent to the red zone. Um, I'm assuming because we're carrying live goods. But I want to check that we're just carrying live goods, which that is all that we're carrying. Um, so, yeah, it's just a matter of waiting there for someone to come through, go through like a giant x-ray, and then go through the other side and get on the boat. Uh, it has just cost us an extra 208 euros because we actually had the uh, quite a delay in getting here. But on a positive note, for the 208 euros it should cost me, we've got a free meal voucher, aren't we, son? <laughs> so it's going to be an expensive pizza, folks. There we go. But we will suck it and see. There's nobody actually here, you know. Oh, we're going to draw around the back. So it's there. There's no one there. I beat me on twice. Should, should we just draw around the back or something? Oh, I bet that's what we have to do. Drive around the back and come out. Yeah, man. Because there's a coat. There's their badger. That's free, son. <laughs> See? French. He's obviously international for two beeps. And the banner opens. <clears throat> Just go for it. And they've shut the door on the back of us. You still, still vlogging? Yeah. Well, keep this bit vlogging, but don't get the camera dead off. You guys can now see everything that's happening. So I've currently got a guy stood. What then? Open. So, hopefully, you guys caught all that. Sound of it. Can't see it. Mate. Van won't stop there. Uh, is it still vlogging? Yeah. Yeah, pick it up now, it's fine, but it Can you take it off us? It's camera's over us. It's time, man. So. That's it, I'll put it around. You're all different shapes and sizes. I'm it's seeing you off and start it again. That's where I'm supposed to be going. I don't know. Is it vlogging? Yeah. Right, so, it kind of pays to have a sister-in-law that's French, because I know the French word for fish, le poisson. And he looked at me and was like, poisson? I was like, poisson. <laughs> and then he opened the box and went, oh, poisson. He invited his friend over and had a look and he was like, oh, poisson. Are we going back out here? And I was like, uh, grande poisson, oui poisson. Where are we going? So yeah, we've, uh, we've got fruit. Um, don't know whether we're about to get probed again. Okay. I'm just going to keep going. I'm just going to keep committing to driving straight. And we've not been called in, so that's good. No one screamed at me yet for continuing to pass. Gone straight past the British police, so that'll do. 
You always feel like you're doing something wrong, don't you? It's strange. Do you know what I mean? You always feel like you're doing something wrong, even though you're not. It's like whenever there's a police officer in the UK driving behind the back of you, you're instantly like, oh my God, have I got tax? Have I got MOT? Have I got insurance? Do you know what I mean? You've got all that stuff, but you absolutely brick it, don't you? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Or when they'll be on the back of you like that, you forgive what I've done wrong. Kids, sit still, there's a police behind. And it's just one of them, man. It's a weird, it's a weird scenario, isn't it? You instantly think you're in trouble. I mean, it's probably just the Birmingham in me. Do you know what I mean? That's probably what it is. <laughs> but the uh, next boat we're on, lane number 113. I will show you the most expensive meal I've ever bought on a boat. Do not start your engine when disembarking until instructed to do so. The use of mobile phones during boarding and disembarking of our vessels is strictly prohibited. Unlucky son, <laughs> we've already got part one of that one, Flower. That's already been done. So here's now where we have to clear UK customs. But then when we get into the UK, we also have to re-clear UK customs. Like we've picked something up off the boat. Figure that for size. However, it's been a long old day. It's currently 3.04 in the UK, which makes it 3.05. And the uh, Polish watch is still going strong as well, my ad. Oh, and check this out. There's an extra feature. What, you ready? Ready? Bam. Yes. It lights up, folks. Mm -hmm. Don't forget to get any your guesses in the comments section down below. You want a free kilo of your shiki goi food? Um, the boxes have slid around a little bit, aren't they? It's like uh, Jenga in the back of the van at the minute. It's like Jenga. But yeah, we've just got to wait through now to get through here. So we'll snap back to you in a second once we get through this bit. And hopefully there won't be any dodgy recording. Props to Dan, though, for just leaving his phone recording in his pocket. Hopefully. Yeah. We'll check it. Yeah, we'll have to check it now. Yeah. So yeah. Let's go! Okay, so because we are um, <coughs> commercial freight, we actually get a mail voucher. I was saying I've done this thing just. And it's a full English. <laughs> um, pretty uh, impressed with that, are you? To be fair. And uh, you can just literally just help yourself, pretty much. Um, but yeah, full English with all the trimmings. Um, so yeah, one little snapback. Big announcements at the end of the video. One little snapback. Um, clearing UK customs and then big announcements. So make sure you're sticking around. Let's go. Okay, here we are. You can see him again, the White Cliffs of Dover, people. We are home. Welcome home. I fell asleep again. Shock horror. I can sleep standing up. Go drop a couple of parcels off to Ashley on the way up. Just gonna make sure that we clear customs through here now. And then straight on home with a ram busy day. Let's go. There we go. Exit. Straight on out. The white cliffs of Dover. So yeah, that's pretty much pretty much what it entails every single time we import come from Poland. Big trips like that in Danny Boy. But nothing that we're not used to ladies and gentlemen. However, I need some sleep. Because my turn's drawing a couple of hours. So sales still currently live at reeferaquatics.com. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter, which is at the Baldy Refat. Instagram is slightly different, which is at the dot Baldy dot Refat. But other than that, stay safe, stay sane. Most importantly, people stay happy. Over to you. Baldy Refat, I'm Danny. Out.